the biggest thing I would say about figuring out that I am an artist or a poet is the ability, I've noticed, the ability that I have to make people feel. To the smell of her spiced ginger and The more specific, the better, because I want to paint the picture, because I'm right there with my reader. You know, when I'm writing, I'm right there in the exact moment of whatever is going on. I can smell whatever smell was there. I can hear whatever sounds were there. I can feel, you know, with my hands if there were tactile experiences to be had. And I want in my poetry the reader to to experience those same things. Smack in the middle of Carnaval when drums, lights, and colors collide. And so you will see that in my poetry I have different rhythms, especially when I'm reading my poetry. All those rhythms that are inside of me that I grew up listening to or dancing to, that's what comes out in the words. A nightingale, I found out, sings both day and night. And the way I interpret it, I love to make others comfortable or happy. And I do that both during the night, meaning the hard times of my life, and, and the happy times of my life during the day. That was like the perfect imagery for me, you know, singing both day and night. Not that I don't feel sad during the bad times. Oh yes, I do. You know, I feel all kind of different ways. During those times, that's when I pour my soul into my poetry to turn it into something beautiful to sustain my soul. At school in Haiti, we had to recite some poetry and that was my favorite part, you know, because I wanted to attempt to communicate the message from the author. In general, to me, poetry, you can appreciate even better. If it's read out loud, it stimulates the brain more or helps me get the picture better. Just the sound itself, <laughs> just the sound itself, it's, it can be soothing, it can incite excitement in me and it just, makes you feel and that's a great thing you can take something very ugly such as the passing of my daughter you know i can put it in words where it can be soothing or healing for somebody else then that's poetry put it into words where people can be like oh yes i remember feeling that way when i was going through this hard time then that's poetry to me and as women i feel that we are told we cannot feel certain things like not too much sadness, definitely not anger, because you have to be a proper lady. Those messages are constantly thrown our way. Those subtle messages, we are bombarded by them. And it was so liberating for me to realize, yes, I'm angry, dang it, I will say that I am, you know. Or I am sad and it makes you uncomfortable that I'm angry or sad or feeling a certain way then move out of my space, you know. I found that with poetry, I was able to release those emotions and remembering a lot. I decided that I'm going to write as a Haitian woman who immigrated into the US and about my experiences as a single mother, I'm going to write that just like I feel it.